what the PMC did was to create a culture of giving back for people who find a sense of identity with bicycles, camaraderie, and quite frankly, doing the right thing. The PMC to me is probably the single biggest event of my life every year. <laughs> the Bad Mass Challenge is the, it, it's the engine that drives all this hope. The PMC is really a true source of inspiration for me. Every year I'm amazed at the riders and all of the sponsors that have enabled the riders to ride. It really provides motivation for me. It makes me feel like the work that we're doing is worthwhile and impacts so many people beyond the patients that are walking through the doors. My, uh, my current diagnosis today I'm not sure you call me stage four today. <laughs> when I first came to Dana-Farber, you know, when I had stage four, it was, it was all, you know, it was in several different places. So it was moving in the wrong direction. And we came to see Dr. Hody and we were very fortunate that he had a uh, trial drug uh, that we got right on and were qualified for and we were off to the races. It's exciting to see what they can do when they're well-funded and when they got an opportunity to be brilliant and come up with these things. And they get it. They know they're saving lives. They've saved my life. I'm still here. Everybody is there for the same reason. We're there to generate funds that will someday cure cancer in every form. If it weren't for the PMC, I can say for a fact that my dad wouldn't be here today because of the funds that were raised that we dedicated to the head and neck cancer. They were able to make improvements and you know, he's, he's alive, he's here. The people making the change are you, you know, the people who are helping us make the change are you who are donating. None of this would ever in a million years literally be possible without you. Couldn't happen. Every single dollar is a dollar for research that didn't exist before. And today, they have told me, you know, your melanoma, he says, where you're at with your melanoma right now, it's kind of like diabetes. You know you got it, we can't cure it, but we can treat it, and you can live a normal life. And that's kind of where I'm at. As long as I come here every three weeks and get this miracle drug that, that they are giving me, my life is, is fine. We, we truck on. <laughs> we are not looking back, it's just forward. Well, today, um, almost 14 years later, I'm cancer-free. I'm able to ride the PMC, uh, and I will continue to do so, so long as God gives me the strength and the, and the willpower to do it, um, because there, there's no better treatment facility in the world. Uh, there's no better research facility in the world than Dana-Farber. Knowing that so many people are working together for such a great cause, the PMC gives me hope that one day we will be living in a world cancer-free. Thank you to all the PMC riders, donors, and volunteers for all that you do to raise funds for Dana-Farber. Without you, the PMC would not be a success. Um, so I appreciate it with all my heart. Without what you do for us, what we try to do for, for Dana-Farber in raising the funds, we would not be able to do. It's just overwhelming the support that we get from you year after year after year. Uh, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I am so thankful for the generosity and the support of all of the riders, the donors, the sponsors, the volunteers. You all make the PMC such a special part of the year for me and allow us to continue doing the work that we're doing. Thank you so much. Without you, I wouldn't be here today, and I am. I'm alive, I'm a survivor because of what the Pan Mass Challenge does for me. So again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you.